then comes pulmonary mucormycosis so now last since last one week or 10 days i am getting so many referral or so many referred scans who are who have some atypical findings on on the chest ct scan over and above the covid 19 or the post covid 19 sequelae and what i am typically seeing is the pulmonary mucormycosis now So it has, of course, the similar risk factors what we discussed for the uh, rhino ocular cerebral, but the radiology findings it initially starts with as a small perivascular ground glass lesion, which may be very difficult to say as a mucormycosis, but it progresses very fast. So just in the next couple of days or three days follow up, you will see the lesion growing out of proportion. It progresses to large nodules, consolidation, and masses, and the ground glass halo is very much more common and typical in these cases. sometimes the halo can be larger than the nodule or the lesion itself then the reverse halo remember the reverse halo is a very important sign here so we have already discussed it can be present in covid 19 we already know that it can be present in other uh, fungal infection like aspergillosis also but so far it has been proven to be most commonly associated with pulmonary mucormycosis so reverse ground glass halo if you see you your antenna should really go up and of course if there is a cavitation then also it it is likely to be mucormycosis and then there will be finding of angio invasion and infarct just like we saw in cerebrum it can occur same way in the lungs as well and if you have done mri again not not a modality that we will do at least for the lungs but there is a sign called a t2 hyper intense rim or the black hole sign described with the central non enhancing area that will help you to specifically say that can be mucormycosis but remember mucormycosis is not the invasive fungus we already know that there is a invasive aspergillosis also in fact before this covid 19 rather the aspergillosis is more common so then how do you differentiate the two based on the ct scan it is not always possible but there are certain signs described which are going to favor mucormycosis over and above aspergillosis that one is more than 10 nodules so remember the aspergillosis usually are few lesions maybe larger but few lesion if the if there is a progression that has led to so many lesion then it is more likely to be mucormycosis reverse halo like i said it is it has shown to be more specific for mucormycosis than even aspergillosis presence of pleural effusion and of course the concurrent sinus infection if you know the patient already has a invasive uh, rhinos ocular or any type of uh, fungal inf- or mucormycosis there then you know that the lung findings can also be present So this is one typical example. If you see, there are ground glass lesion or a typical COVID-19 findings, more likely in a resolving stage, like this patient was. And in addition, the patient has started developing this large nodule or the consolidation with central ground glass attenuation. So if you can appreciate, there's a clear reverse ground glass halo. And like I said, no matter what the diagnosis, if there is a clinical suspicion, this is not going to be COVID-19 or aspergillosis. This is more likely to be mucormycosis, and always raise this possibility. and otherwise other common finding that we now typically see is the presence of cavitation also so again if you see there is a large consolidation there is a background covid 19 lesion i hope everybody can appreciate these are the covid 19 sequelae reticular opacities and you see this large new lesion on the follow up uh, case uh, in the right lower lobe and again you can see that the ground glass is pretty much in the center and the denser part is that the periphery so there is a reverse ground glass and there is a cavitation also so again this patient are more likely to have mucormycosis and again this patient was proven to be mucormycosis and this way this is also a similar looking finding the reverse halo sign with the cavitation and in addition we can see pleural effusion also and you can see the patient had actually covid 19 sequelae there was a bit of fibrosis also because this this is present since 8 months and now the patient has developed mucormycosis and of course you have angio invasion then you then leaves no doubt with you just like in, uh, in in pns so same way this patient has a large consolidation with ground glass difficult to appreciate reverse ground glass here but almost ground glass with cavitation very typical findings again with even pleural effusion but what you see here is the superior segmental branch of the right lower lobe pulmonary artery is completely thrombus so once you have seen this you have a proof of angio invasion and this is a clear cut case of mucormycosis and if you see even the right inferior pulmonary vein is uh, is started to showing involvement with some irregularity and partial thrombosis so once you have seen this all the proof of in injury invasion and everything you need to keep in mind the mucormycosis